Mr. Arno to tell us about his present visit. He's here in Pakistan, especially Karachi. He's uh, going around meeting people. So uh, let's uh, begin uh, with asking him that what is actually the purpose of his visit? Now, uh, how shall I explain it? The purpose of my visit, we, uh, I used to, I work for HIVA. It's a uh, hydraulic equipment uh, uh, supplier, and we are able to supply, uh, collect, uh, garbage collectors, but also uh, equipment for transfer station. So I, I conducted a visit last year already here in Karachi, and uh, uh, our partners here, uh, Orient Trading and ACP, they asked me to come back because here in Karachi something needs to be implemented uh, for collecting waste, and, and the Sin Solid Waste Management Board is at the moment in the, in the phase of trying to implement uh, a collection methodology or at least a garbage transfer station, uh, mm. how they call it. So they asked me to come back here to, uh, to Pakistan to meet a lot of people, to see, to introduce our product, but also to share the expertise that we as HIVA have in Europe, in Asia, in the rest of Asia, and also uh, in India with, with implementing such systems. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Arno, what do you feel uh, since Karachi is um, one of the largest cities in the world. Yeah, correct. But on the on the other hand, I don't see any concrete things happening. Why do I say that? Because uh, since uh, the continuation of the previous government, uh, say People's Party is in uh, is in the uh, province, right? But I don't see anything which shows that yes we are aware of this problem mm -hmm. we want to uh, eradicate what is happening around we want to address it uh, do you think that political impasse political uh, reluctance or other such things are hindering this uh, progress in addressing this huge problem of Karachi becoming a heap of trash Absolutely, absolutely. It all starts with legislation. It needs to start from the top and then it needs to be implemented. But you cannot have any system in place about collecting waste if you don't have any proper legislation. You, yeah. can, com you can compare it, for instance, with, with Europe. Mm. As, as you uh, just shared, I come from Holland. Mm. In Holland, this process started 40 years ago. Okay. And it took us 40 years to achieve the level that we currently have, segregating waste, mm. waste collected. Mm. In my hometown in mm. Holland, my general waste is collected only every four weeks okay. in a small bin. Okay. So, but that's a phase of 40 years. So, imagine the only benefit that, that Pakistan and other emerging markets have mm. is that they can benefit from the knowledge mm. that already is in Europe mm. and in, in Asia and in China. Mm. So, uh, uh, um, but it all starts with legislation and it starts with the end. You need to have a proper system in place. Mm. So what, yes, you can collect all the waste, mm. but what are you going to do with it? Mm. Do you have proper landfills? Mm. Do you have mm. more landfills? Do you, mm. for instance, do you have an incineration? Yes. Incinerator? Yes. So, um, if you, if you p permit, I need to uh, take a break, a no short problem. break, a commercial break. We'll uh, come back and uh, start from where we are leaving bilkul sahi farma rahe hain ki dekhiye jab tak aapke andar political will nahi hogi aapko cheezon ka idrak nahi hoga ki karachi ke ya pakistan ke masail ke jab tak aap koi behtar kaam kar nahi payenge wapas aayenge apni guftugu aage dobara se resume karte aur jante hain ki mr arno ka experience is pure hawale se kaisa hai kya dekhte hain wo let's take a break जी नाजरीन खुश आमदीद कहते हैं प्रोग्राम आप देख रहे हैं फ्रंट पेज नाजरीन एक न्यूज आपके साथ शेयर करती हूँ वजीर आजम ने आलूदा धुंध का नोटिस ले लिया फौरी इकदाम की हिदायत महकमा ट्रांसपोर्ट आलूदगी से बचाव के लिए गाड़ियों का सख्त मुआयना करे शहरों में शजरकारी तेज की जाए ये हमारे टॉपिक से चूंकि रिलेटेड है इसलिए मैंने आपके साथ खबर शेयर की और ब्रेक पे जाने से पहले हमारे जो गेस्ट हैं मिस्टर आर्नो वो कह रहे थे कि यूरोप को खासतौर पे जहाँ ये हैं जहाँ के ये हैं नदरलैंड सॉलिड उनको 40 साल लगे हैं इस मामले तक आते आते कि अब आप यूरोप में जा बजा सफाई देखते हैं लेकिन हम इनसे पूछेंगे डू वी हैव डू वी हैव दैट मच टाइम डू वी स्टिल हैव 40 इयर्स टू लर्न फ्रॉम देयर एक्सपीरियंस आई पर्सनली थिंक 
that uh, we do not have much time left because since um, the political situation in the country is so uh, perplexed, complex, that the actual issues, in my opinion, they stay neglected. Am I right or wrong? I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh. Now, it, it, what, what really is important is uh, that this is, is, is embedded in your total population in, 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 in the residents here in, in Karachi, and, but also in the rest of, uh, of Pakistan. Mm. So if you can have a system in place that engages people to, uh, uh, to support and to collect the waste for you, mm. that already is the first step. And then you can from that, use that as a start towards the end goal. Mm. And, and I don't think that you need 40 years, but mm. I just, just explained mm. benefit from the knowledge that already is there. here in the market in the world hmm. and see how you can expedite that process but you need to take it as a start okay yesterday we went to uh, to central district okay. we had a meeting over there okay. with uh, with the responsible for the for the central district mm -hmm. and what he explained me it, it here you have a so-called unofficial uh, segregation uh, uh, industry mm -hmm. yeah, you have the scavengers that segregate the waste for you but how can you engage them mm -hmm. for instance to to segregate the waste mm -hmm. but also to bring mm -hmm. general waste or litter mm -hmm. to a central, central point. Mm -hmm. And that really is like, I got operational uh, uh, experience. I used to work for operating companies, so companies that used to collect waste in Europe, but also in, in the Middle East. And now I, I made a switch to a, a supplier that provides the equipment. Mm -hmm. And that really is something that I like in my company. Mm -hmm. We have the complete comprehensive range. So we have okay. compactors okay. that you can put on the place where you can dump waste okay. in, okay. where you can dump safely waste in because they are totally secured and mm -hmm. nobody is able to play with it, only the operator. Mm -hmm. And we have the refuse collectors, so that's the, the compactors installed on the chassis to collect waste mm -hmm. from very small ones to the very big ones. Yeah, and, and, and you live in Karachi and you see how dense it is here, so it it's, doesn't make any sense to go with big trucks in dense mm -hmm. areas because you're only delaying the collection. Okay. So what you see now that, that also our partner here, they, they uh, developed and designed small tricycles. Mm. So if you can introduce those tricycles and bring waste not to one central area, a, a GTS, but to small transfer stations divided all over districts, I think you will uh, uh, reduce your transport time with waste, true, true, bring true. it to small points, mm. then transport it from the small points during the night mm -hmm. when there is less traffic to yes. a landfill or to bigger transfer stations mm -hmm. and by reducing the, uh, uh, the transport time for, mm -hmm. the, for the waste collectors right. they can go back directly to their own street or their own area okay. and collect more waste. Okay. What do you think the real problem is? Is it a problem of unawareness or is it more of an administrative nature? I think it's ownership. Somebody has to own the problem, and and uh, uh, yes, you can do. You, yes, you can centralize that by by the sin solid waste. That's a good start. But I always believe, especially in a city, what I understood yesterday, more than 22 million people already. Mm. You need to decentralize it. Give the local responsibility to districts, small areas with their own budget. Then you create ownership, it's their problem. Problem. You give that their own budget, so it's up to them how to, uh, uh, to spend that budget. But you also create some sort of a competition between the districts because you're able to monitor them and to, uh, to compare them. Mm. So how is it possible that District A can have it as clean as possible mm. and District C and E? So you create mm. some sort of a competition. competition. And I think that expedites the complete process. But because otherwise what you will do, if you have one government mm. or one institution make mm. uh, it completely responsibili mm. responsible for the, for the problem, mm. they need to cascade it down. Mm. And if it's not embedded in a complete organization, it will be a failure because everywhere mm. uh, uh, you will have a resistance. True. So now we have a break and we are saying that Mr. Arno is saying that when the ownership will not come, when we are not ready for this topic, we will not be able to get out of the solutions, all the solutions will be taken in the end of the day. And they have said that when you don't decentralize things, you don't make a part of the people in the local area, until the change is not made. Break, let's take a look at the program on the front page. Let's take a look at the program on the front page. 
جی ناظرین خوش آمدید کہیں گے پروگرام آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں فرنٹ پیج ناظرین ایک اور خبر آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کرتے ہیں چینی کمپنی سے زلہ شرقی میں صفائی کا معاہدہ ہو گیا کمپنی دو ماہ بعد صفائی شروع کرے گی معاہدے پر چیئرمن بلدیا شرقی مویت انمر ایم ڈی سالٹ ویسٹ ڈاکٹر سنجانی اور چینی کمپنی کے صدر ینگ جیان نے دستخط کیے چینی کمپنی ستر کروڑ کی سرمایہ کاری کرے گی زلہ شرقی میں چھانوے کچھرہ گاڑیاں چار ہزار ڈس پنٹ اور کنٹینرز رکھے جائیں گے نظرین ہمارے جو مہمان ہیں آرنو ان سے ہم جو بات کر رہے تھے اور ظاہر ہے کہ ان کا تعلق جس ملک سے وہ آپ کو یقیناً آپ نے موویز میں فلموں میں دیکھا ہوگا کہ ایک تو ٹیولپ پھول جو ہے وہ ان کے ملک سے ظاہر ہے اس کی وجہ شہرت جو ہے یہ بھی ہے کہ ان کے ملک میں بے انتہا خوبصورت پھول چیولے پکتا ہے اس کے علاوہ ہاکی کی دنیا میں نیدرلنڈز یا ہالنڈ کا ایک بہت بڑا نام وہ آپ بھی جانتے ہیں اور تیسری وجہ شہرت آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا ونڈ میلز جن کو ہم ہوا چکی پن چکی کہتے ہیں وہ بھی آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا کہ ہالنڈ کی خاص جو مشہور چیزیں وہ ساری ہیں لیکن ان سے ہم جو بات کر رہے ہیں وہ یہ پوچھ رہے ہیں کہ کراچی کے لیے کیا ایسا کوئی موڈل ہو سکتا ہے ایسا کوئی اگزامپل ہو سکتا ہے جسے ہم فالو کر سکتے ہوں سو مسٹر آنو ڈو یو تھنک یو ہیو سم موڈل فار کراچی ٹو فالو بٹ آف کورس دا کنٹری سچویشنز آر ڈفرنٹ اینڈ ایوری ویئر ان دا ورلڈ بٹ دیر مائٹ بی سم سم ریفرنس پوائنٹ فرام وچ وی کین دا لیڈ فردر ٹو گو ان دا رائٹ ڈائریکشن Um, yes, I think you need to, to implement it gradually. Uh, we were just talking in, in the break about the, the Chinese yes. uh, uh, awarding uh, one contract for, uh, for the Central East yes. uh, District. Yes, it is I, I, I think that's a good start. You know, okay. uh, 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 you have one hmm. main contractor. They are responsible. If you have a clear contract with clear responsibilities, but also clear deliverables, um, uh, you can use that as a start. Uh, my company Hiva we are also doing and conducting exactly the same okay. in China and in India okay. we are the main contractor so okay. what we do is we purchase the trucks mm. we we deliver the equipment mm. uh, and then we're looking for local partners mm. to conduct the execution mm. and I think that really is the key because uh, uh, during my last visit the mm. seminar that we had that, that that we had I understood that there are more than 260 either official or unofficial waste collecting companies in Karachi. Oh, 260? 260. My God. So imagine what will happen. And still the waste is there on the streets. That's oh, wow. Wow. So okay. yeah, that's what I understood. But <laughs> you can imagine what will happen uh, if, if you now award a contract to a new company, a new entrant in the mark, market, and suddenly you take over their business. That will create a mess. So, so what mm. you can do and what we do in China and, 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 and in India, mm. we are the main contractor, we supply the equipment and then we hire mm. or subcontract the local companies to do the execution. So we tell the local companies, mm. all right, here you have your truck, here you have the equipment, right. you will have 10 trucks and we will pay you for mm. the tonnage of waste mm. that is collected. Mm. And I think that creates the start of mm. the whole process and then you will have more or less a snowball effect because then everybody wants to participate because who doesn't want to have a new truck, who doesn't mm. want to have a new collector. Right. Um, also, what, what we did last year, we went to the municipal workshops, I don't, I don't know in which area it was or with okay. which district, mm. then we saw the most comprehensive, complicated refuse collectors mm. also used in Europe, mm. they call it the site loaders. Okay. It's, it's, maintaining is so difficult <laughs> and, and quite expensive, but in the past, I, I, I thought 15 years ago, um, Karachi or that district purchased the site collectors. Okay. But then the first hose cracked mm. and collapsed and nobody was able mm. to do the maintenance. So what they did now is a refuse collector at the back you have a door mm. so you compact waste mm -hmm. in there and then the, the tail they call yes. the tail goes open mm. and from there you push the waste outside either at the disposal site or at the incinerator mm. but nobody was able to do after that hose cracked to do the maintenance so what did they do they remove the tailgate and they yeah. use a compaction system they load it now with a wheel loader oh my God. so there goes your compaction system so what really is important that Same. yes, you need to have a system in place, yeah. yes, you will have a main contractor, engage 
local companies, mm. but also have local partners for the after sales. Because due to my operational experience, mm. a machine that is not running costs money. Oh, uh, it needs to go outside. True. So here we want to take a break. We'll be back and you are watching Front Page. जी नाजरीन खुश आमदीद कहते हैं प्रोग्राम आप देख रहे हैं फ्रंट पेज नाजरीन इस वक्त तक की जो खबरें हैं इतलात हैं अभी तक तो मिस क्लिंटन जो है वो जरा हमें बैकफुट पर नजर आ रही हैं और ट्रंप लीड करते नजर आ रहे हैं लेट्स सी के फाइनली क्या होता है अमेरिका में अगर पाकिस्तान वापस आ जाए तो नाजरीन एक अच्छी रिपोर्ट छपी है एक्सप्रेस ट्रिब्यून में कराची का जो सर्कुलर रेलवे वाला प्रोजेक्ट है उसके हवाले से बड़ी डिटेल्ड रिपोर्ट है ये और इसमें ये कह रहे हैं कि इन ट्रांसपोर्ट स्टाफ कराची फेट ऑफ के सी आर हैंग्स इन बैलेंस और इसकी वजह ये बता रहे हैं कि पाकिस्तान में जो हुकूमत सिंध और जो जापानीज कंपनी है जायका उसके दरमियान जो माहदे हैं उनमें मुख्तलिफ शिके हैं कि जिन पर अभी भी थोड़ा सा डेड लॉक पाया जाता है और लग रहा यही है कि ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है ये भी शायद सत खाने की नज़र हो जाए हुकूमत सिंध के पास चाइनीज कैंटर पार्ट्स की भी ऑफर्स मौजूद हैं अब देखिए कि क्या इसकी फेट डिसाइड होती है ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है इस पर कुल तखमीना जो है वो है तकरीबन दो टू फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव एट बिलियन रुपीज इट्स ए ह्यूज प्रोजेक्ट लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स इन दी एंड बट माई क्वेश्चन टू मिस्टर आर आनो अगेन इज दैट अनलेस वी हैव द पोलिटिकल कंसेंट एंड विलिंगनेस and the urge to address the issues that are there on the ground we cannot move any further since he is representing a foreign company and he is here meeting people visiting places uh, does he find any uh, glitches any mental blocks that there are in the minds of the officials that he comes in constant contact Um, no, no, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, uh, what, what, what I in generally see, I, I meet a lot of. I, I met the districts. Right. I met uh, the operating companies. Right. They are all willing to participate, okay. and they okay. all know. Yes, we need a solution, and please give me the chance to do it. The only thing is, they are. The block is that they are are blocked by the. Yeah, bureaucracy oh, right. in, in general because they need to wait. They don't have a budget. Mm. They need to wait till it cascades mm. down from the top, or, or, or I don't know where it, it, it needs to come from here in uh, in Karachi. And, and and they cannot do it by themselves because they need to have also a formal contract. We're talking about uh, the railway. Mm. If you have a clear contract mm. with clear deliverables and uh, a clear, clear agreement, then you can start. And that's the thing. So. I think decentralized. What we're talking about, referring to uh, uh, earlier, is if you decentralize it and give them their own budget and responsibility, it's up to them to do it, and then you can monitor them from the top instead of trying to force everything from the top and push it down. And guys, this is how we should do it, because then you still have to overcome the resistance. Mm. And if you give one company or one uh, authority responsibility. All right, now it's up to you, and this is what I want to see, and this is the time frame. Right. Since you are also working in um, countries uh, which are more or less like Pakistan uh, in in approach, in in the uh, demography, in uh, geographical conditions, environmental conditions, so uh, do you think? that all these countries all the leadership that is there in their respective countries have the vision and the willingness and plus the right finances to achieve those kind of goals since you said that europe took at least 40 years to reach where it is now mm -hmm. so uh, <clears throat> keeping that in mind the participation of a common man is equally important mm -hmm. but do you see that happening in in countries like pakistan in your no, future no. yes but but with with india for instance mm. I, i think that the whole process in india started 5 years ago okay. but but the, what what changed there is mm. that they put a legislation in place okay. this is our vision this is the responsibility of india because also india is growing hmm. in the population so they recognize the problem so first they recognize the problem i think pakistan is already in that phase then they put this 
put the legislation in place uh, to resolve the issue mm. and, and to create uh, uh, some force mm. to, uh, to start. Mm. And now, now you can see that a lot of ci cities, they mm. do exactly the same as, uh, as the Chinese one. Okay. All right, you're the main contractor. Mm -hmm. we, we as HIVA now are in several cities, main contractor for collecting okay. waste. Okay. And then again, again mm. using the local people. Mm. And I, I think that's first phase is already done in okay. Karachi. Now, the next phase, mm. legislation, and mm. put the system in place. That okay. really is the key, and then mm. you can start the process. But that will take a while. Or okay, okay, okay. Um, the international pressure is also there to address the environmental issues, and that is also one of the challenges that we hear that we have here in Pakistan since a lot many people are unaware what is climate change what is the hazards of living in this changing climate and all yeah. since we have a very little time left uh, what do you say what do you propose start schooling kids okay teach them at school okay tell them what the advantage is of, of segregating waste mm. what what we do it in Holland I learned that with 18 pet bottles we're able to manufacture to produce one sweater. Okay. <laughs> so if you huh. teach it in such kind of way to small children, because they are the future, mm. and if they grow up with segregating waste, with putting waste in mm. a container, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that will change the whole system Three. over the over the time. Thank you very much, Mr. You're welcome. Anu, for joining us in the studio. Nazreen, we have tried to learn from them that the government is the only way to solve their problems, how to solve their problems, how to solve their problems, how to solve their problems. Mr. Anu has said that if you are in the beginning, if you are in the beginning, ये बातें शामिल करें कि जिस माहौल में आप जिंदा रहते हैं वो खतरनाक से खतरनाक तर होता चला जा रहा है तो आइंदा आने वाली नस्लों को आप बहुत से बुरे कामों से बचा लेंगे माहौल बेहतर बना लेंगे इन्हीं अल्फाज के साथ इजाजत लेंगे प्रोग्राम आप देख रहे थे फ्रंट पेज